Hello and welcome to the lesson titled What and Where Are Ecosystems? For do now questions up on the board, please complete those in your exercise book on your paper now, pause the video and then hit play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the difference between weather and climate, two very similar terms, but there is a key difference you need to be aware of. When we talk about weather, we're talking about short term. When we talk about climate, we're talking about a much longer period of time. In both cases, we're referring to what the atmosphere, what the air is like, but it's a question of time. What type of pressure is it when the air is rising? When the air is rising, we have what we call low air pressure. What kind of weather are we likely to have with low air pressure? Well, quite unstable weather, probably quite wet weather and potentially quite windy weather as well. Finally, what is a shoreline management plan? This is a long term strategy for the coastline, usually aimed at protecting it, although there are some cases where a shoreline management plan will actually recommend doing nothing and arguably they're not then protecting the coast but it is the key point a very long-term plan it's not just a case of let's put out some uh, immediate defenses uh, for the next week it's a long-term strategy for the next five to ten years so today's lesson is all about ecosystems. Now on the board we've got a picture of the rainforest and this certainly classifies itself as an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a collection of living plants and animals but also it's the non-living elements that they interact with so in that rainforest we can see we've got trees uh, there'll be some animals in there we can't really see any but there are going to be some but we've also got things like the climate we've got the soil these non-living factors are an important part of an ecosystem and will really determine what an ecosystem is like so the rainforest itself is an ecosystem but this street is also an ecosystem too because it has living elements such as plants and animals and non-living elements like the climate and the rock type. This also then means that the school football pitches are an ecosystem. Whilst you might not see many animals there, there will be some and certainly there are plants. My back garden is an ecosystem as you can see, there's one animal um, and plenty of plants as well. So an ecosystem can be lots of different areas. It is a community of living organisms that interact with each other. And then we have got the non-living elements as well. Like we said, the air, the water, the soil, that all have a huge part to play in what living elements can be there. I've used two key words there, biotic and abiotic. Biotic simply means living, abiotic means non-living. Another key word we come across is a biome. And a biome is a very large scale ecosystem. Ecosystems can be very small, as we said, a small back garden, and they can be very large, but biomes are huge ecosystems um, that we can identify in different areas of the world. And yes, if you're thinking it, it is just like Minecraft having different biomes and ecosystems. So what I need you to do now is to add these two key terms to your notes. Please make sure you use those keywords biotic and abiotic as well. Okay, so moving on then, looking at the board, we can see a map of the world and we've got different ecosystems and different biomes on there. Uh, down the bottom, we've got a key to show you what the different ecosystems and biomes are called. So there's a task there to do to begin with, which ecosystem is the most common in those four different areas? So where we live, we are looking at the temperate forest in the UK. In Central Africa, that would be the tropical rainforest. Northern Russia, depending on what you classify as northern Russia, you're talking about the tundra or the boreal, also known as the taiga forest. And in the central United States, we're looking at temperate grassland there. So good important skill to be able to use maps and to recognize the data that's displayed on there. Well done if you got those correct. There are, as we just saw, a variety of biomes and they have some similarities, some differences, some are very densely packed with uh, biotic features, plants and animals such as the tropical rainforest, very densely packed. Compare that to the polar biomes, very empty. Same with desert biomes, very empty in 